My name is Renee Johnson. I am an original Midlander, uh, but lived out of state for many, many years, and it's great to be back in my hometown. Uh, so I guess I'll, I'll read the poem, talk about it, and then read it again. Mm -hmm. um, it's a poem by Marvin Bell. It's from the collection Stars Which See, Stars Which Do Not See. To Dorothy, you are not beautiful exactly. You are beautiful inexactly. You let a weed grow by the mulberry, and a mulberry grow by the house. So close in the personal quiet of a windy night, it brushes the wall and sweeps away the day till we sleep. A child said it, and it seemed true. All things that are lost are equal. But it isn't true. If I lost you, the air wouldn't move, nor the tree grow. Someone would pull the weed my flower, the quiet wouldn't be yours. If I lost you, I'd have to ask the grass to let me sleep. <coughs> I selected that poem for a number of reasons, probably the first one being that Marvin Bell is one of my former teachers. Um, he was the first of the teachers that I had when I was a graduate student at the University of Iowa Writers' Workshop. And that semester, Marvin uh, decided he wanted to run in a marathon in Hawaii. So he was going to need to cut out early, which meant we needed to double up on some of our meetings uh, during the week to get all our workshop sessions in. And so he invited us to meet at his home. And it was there that I met his wife, Dorothy. Uh, she was a very slight woman with very long hair, practically you know, well below her waist, uh, very plain looking, really in some ways almost homely, never wore makeup. Um, but she was such a generous hostess to be invaded by 12 graduate students every week. And she would provide us with mulled wine and rather exotic, for us, appetizers that we would just devour uh, during the break. And uh, so I had very fond memories of, of Dorothy. And so it became one of my favorite poems because I knew her. And the poem just clearly captures who she is as, as a person. And um, just more recently, what I discovered is that when Marvin gives poetry readings, this poem to Dorothy is the one that is most requested. And I hope uh, after my reading of it, uh, you understand why. I, I think it's, it's a delightful love story, or a love poem, um, because there's great sentiment without being syrupy or um, predictable. So let me read it one more time. To Dorothy. You are not beautiful, exactly. You are beautiful inexactly. You let a weed grow by the mulberry, and a mulberry grow by the house. So close, in the personal quiet of a windy night, it brushes the wall and sweeps away the day till we sleep. A child said it, and it seemed true, Things that are lost are all equal. But it isn't true. 
If I lost you, the air wouldn't move, nor the tree grow. Someone would pull the weed, my flower. The quiet wouldn't be yours. If I lost you, I'd have to ask the grass to let me sleep.